guys, Bling Bling Bob here again from Hunt Shoot Off Road with another install. Uh, today we're going to install a uh, winch onto a Toyota Hilux 2013 model. So this one has a BW bull bar, um, which is from uh, out Chinchilla Way. Black Toyota I think owns them. And we're just going to install this budget winch and I'm going to show you an easy trick for installing them into these uh, last model Hiluxes. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're actually going to remove this grill and then we're going to slip it in from the top. So we're going to start by removing these bolts here and here. And uh, there's a couple down the bottom there somewhere over there. And uh, we'll get stuck into it and show you how easily you can get this into your, into your truck. Okay, so I just got the last two to go. So this one here is just a simple Phillips head screw. Just untwist that out. Set that aside. And all these ones just pop the top and then it just pulls out with a mushroom head on it. Down the bottom here, there's these tabs. You need, I had to get a screwdriver in and pry the bottom of the tab out from the metal, but now there's about eight across the bottom. Now that grill should be able to come out. My spotlights are a little bit in the way. So. And that's it and you can see the area we've opened up before we start to install this what we're going to do roll it over get the four square nuts install them through the the holes in the center there just get some electrical tape or some some kind of tape and just take that off so it can't fall out when we go to stick it in um, always good to work on concrete as you can see, I'm working on the preferred surface of dirt. Um, not my preferred choice, but limited space today. So we'll do what we can with what we got. And uh, always wear safety boots, like my thongs, to protect the soles of your feet. Okay, let's get this up now. Now just mindful of the fact that the, the gear stick Goes on the right hand side of the car. We'll just drop that in at an angle. I think it's the horn you've got to get past there. Plenty of room. Now I've got a, a guard there to protect the radiator from uh, insects and sticks. Um, just might need to put some cardboard in there. All right, that's ready to install from underneath. But before we do these four bolts up, what we're going to do is just slide the winch across because we need to fit these through to the front to hold this, the letterbox slot on the front of the winch there. And also before that, we're gonna try and cut the uh, zip tie off on the, on the cable there and feed that through as well from the underside. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm just gonna do it off camera because otherwise I'm just wasting your time with a little bit of fiddling around and uh, we'll come back. Okay, so we've mounted the, uh, the bracket here. The reason I've had the bolts come out the front is because they were going to make contact with the actual body of the winch inside. So I'm just going to uh, cut them off with an angle grinder. I've got three of the bolts installed up from underneath and I'll just show you what I've done with those. So get some uh, Loctite, or sorry, some anti-seize um, because obviously you're going to go in the salt water and rain and mud and dirt. Um, you do have to service the winch, so be mindful of that when you install this type of thing that you want to be able to get it out easily, which is why this method I'm showing you is so awesome, because the other way to get the winch in properly is you actually need to remove this bolt here, another one here, another one here, which has snapped on my vehicle, two more here, here, and I think these ones back here, which are actually also attached to these recovery points. Um, and then you remove this whole plate from the vehicle, which is obviously a massive task. And then you've got to try and lift all 27 kilos of winch up back onto the car and do the bolts up. But you can see that this is actually quite easy uh, in comparison. So we'll just do up this one last nut. And then we'll get stuck into the wiring. Okay, so we're just gonna install the, uh, the hook. We'll just put this red, thing on there which is uh, I don't know looks cool 
easy to handle, easy to spot in the mud or something, I guess. Just pinch the um, the pin, remove the pin. Probably not gonna have to go sideways. Drop the pin back down through the Dyneema rope, which is obviously in the way, a little bit short. There we go. So we poke it through, bind the pin up, poke it through, I'm just going to twist it around. Now, with these pins, you only ever need to move one side because if you, if you, if you bend both sides, they're really hard to, to get off again. And of course, it's moving on me. And that's it. That's all you need to do. That pin is only to stop this pin sliding forward through, through the, back through the hole. So you can just leave it like that. Um, some people like to wrap them right around so they're not going to catch on anything, but uh, I'll probably actually replace it with a, a pull pin later anyway. So. Okay, so I didn't waste your time with the wiring up, but it's uh, pretty easy. There's a um, red cable comes out with a red sheaf on it, goes to the red terminal. There's a black cable with a blue sheath, goes to a yellow, Sorry, with the yellow sheath goes to a yellow terminal. There is a black cable with a black sheath goes to the black terminal. There is a small, where is it? This here, small wire goes to this terminal here. This is the long black wire, which goes all the way through the engine bay onto the earth of the battery. Or well, actually I've got it on the firewall up the back there. And then the last cable goes from the long cable with the fuse on it goes once again through the same location up around the back of the battery and then connecting onto the positive of the battery and that's it and so we've got the uh, winch cable connected we've got it all hooked up underneath there and if we do it uh, out you can see it winds out and then in goes back in and that's it, it's all done. I just got to cut this off with some uh, angle grinder and that's it, fitted. You could probably do that in, a, in at least two hours pretty easily. Um, you just need a couple extra zip ties. It didn't come with some bolts to mount the winch and I did have to remove my spotlights to make room. The cable on this side was going to hit the spotlight so I did have to remove that. So therefore they're on the ground. Um, probably if you get some uh, LED spotlights they come with much higher mounts and should clear that um, thing so that's it alright guys until next time uh, catch us later